advice from your doctor or medical professional before participating in any activities offered by Chronically Awesome. Never rely on our content in place of seeking professional medical advice. By using this video, you agree that you are voluntarily using or acting upon our content. You also agree that, say, where Chronically Awesome is at fault, your use of or acting upon the content is at your own risk, including, but not limited to, all risk to yourself of harm, injury or illness, and in particular, any harm, injury or illness resulting from overexertion or exacerbation of any medical conditions caused by the use of the content. Always remember that if you experience pain while using or acting upon our content, stop and consult your doctor or medical professional. Always warm up before a class and warm down after. You do not need to complete an entire class. You can always start with a short section and build up to completing a full class over time. Pace yourself and listen to your body. Most of all, have fun. Exercise should be empowering and make you feel good. If it's not fun, try a different style of class until you find something you enjoy. Hi everyone and welcome to this seated, dance inspired exercise class. Hopefully you will have all read the notes that have come with this video, but I'm just going to go over a few things before we start just to make sure that everybody's clear and there's no confusion about anything. So I want to emphasise that this is for you, this isn't anything about me, so please don't try and imitate exactly what my body is doing. Obviously I'm here to guide you and to try and keep you as safe as possible. However, my body isn't the same as your body, so I really want you to try and tune into how your body's feeling and respond as you see fit. So if something doesn't feel right, if um, it just doesn't suit you, then that's absolutely fine. Please modify as you need to. Um, have fun and just do what you can and what you feel able to do. So don't push it if you're not feeling ready to push things. Um, Secondly, I'm using uh, royalty-free music, which we've got access to. However, in the notes, hopefully you've seen, um, I've made a list of suggested songs for each exercise um, based on the, the rhythm or the timing of those songs. So um, you can listen to the track that I'm using if you want to, or you can add um, some additional audio over the top. Um, you can choose a song of your choice if that helps to inspire you with your, um, with your movement. So uh, without further ado, let's get going. So the first thing I want just to draw your attention to is the way that you're sitting. So just before we move on to anything else, just to make sure. So just before we move on to anything else, I just want to make sure that we've all got the equipment that we need for the session. So as you can see, I'm sat on a chair. Um, I'm using just a dining chair, so if you've got a dining chair that you're happy to use, that's absolutely fine. If there's another chair that you'd prefer to use or surface, um, as long as it's nice and sturdy and um, gives you ample support. And the other thing is that it's really useful if you can sit up tall on your chair. So sometimes when we sit on sofas or things, it's very easy to slouch into them because they're nice and squishy and comfy. But if you've got something a bit more rigid to sit on, that can be quite useful just to help us with our posture. Um, I'm gonna be using later some uh, shakers. So these are just little plastic egg shakers. Um, I bought them very cheaply online. Um, however, you can make yourself some as well if you feel like a little craft project, just by using little tiny uh, maybe spice jars or tiny Tupperware pots and just filling them with a bit of rice or dried lentils or um, something so it makes it so it makes a bit of a sound and it has a little bit of weight to it but it's nothing um, too heavy or it's nothing too strenuous um, however these are completely optional for me they just make it a bit more fun so if you don't fancy using the shakers um, you can just ball your hands into fists and just kind of pretend you've got something in your hands that's absolutely fine uh, the other thing is make sure you're wearing really comfortable clothing, obviously adapt as you get hot or cold. Um, you don't have to have any specialist dance or fitness gear. I'm just in tracksuit bottoms and a comfy top. Um, so do what you need to do to make yourself feel comfortable. I've got my socks on, um, so it might be a good idea just to keep your feet warm, but obviously be, be aware of um, Slipping, if you've got a particularly slippy floor, you might want to wear um, some shoes or if you need um, some support from your shoes, then that's absolutely fine. If you feel more comfortable wearing bare feet, that's absolutely fine as well. 
um, water or a drink, make sure you've got a drink nearby. But I think that's about it. So I think we are nearly ready to go. So the first thing to remember is just to think about our alignment. So just to keep our bones and joints nice and safe. So when I'm sitting up in my chair, I'm not hyperextending, so I'm not sticking my chest out um, or making a curve in my back. I'm trying to just sit up tall without there feeling like there's too much pressure or I'm overextending. And I want to try and keep my shoulders down if possible, so I'm not tensing in my shoulders. The other thing is that I'm going to try and keep my hips, my knees and my toes vaguely in the same line. And I want them to be facing forward if possible. So it doesn't matter if they slip out slightly. Obviously, we're all um, made slightly differently. We have slightly different alignment naturally. Um, but the thing we want to try and avoid is that our knees are knocking in or um, we're on the out outer edges of our feet just because... Um, it doesn't support our joints as nicely, joints and bones. So we want to try and keep uh, that in mind as we move forward. As I say, um, you've got the chair here to support you. I like to keep my hands on my thighs quite often when I'm not using them, but the other option is to take hold of your chair. So I'm just underneath the base of the chair, which gives you a bit more support as well. Um, if you are near a wall or near another surface, feel free to kind of hold on to what you need to to keep yourself supported as well. OK, so we're going to start with a very simple warm up. So you can just follow me. Um, I will be directing you and um, yeah, let's get going. So as I say, we want to be planting our feet into the floor so we can really feel the weight through our heel and through our toes, sitting up fairly tall shoulders down and ready to go. The first thing we're going to do is just rub our hands together so we can be nice and thorough here. We want to start to build up warmth in the palms and the fingers and you can explore the backs of your hands as well so maybe the wrists and the knuckles in between the fingers. It's like you're giving your hands a really good wash as we should all be doing. So once you feel a bit of warmth we're just going to start with our faces. So again, this might look and feel a little bit silly, but we're just going to warm up our faces, give ourselves a bit of a facial massage, so maybe around the jaw area, the cheeks, the temples and the eyebrows, anywhere that we might be carrying tension. So just a few brushes down the face, maybe making sure we feel nice and awake and alive. And then when you're ready, we can move our hands back together, still warming up, getting that blood flowing, and we're going to work up one arm. So I'm making sure to get the elbow, the outer arm, the inner arm, and I'm going to move up to my shoulder if that feels possible. So I don't have to do much with this arm, it's staying quite passive. I've got one active arm and one more passive arm. And I'm going to do the same thing up the other arm. So swapping rolls. Again, you can be as firm or as soft as you like here, whatever feels good. The idea is just to get the blood flowing, to warm up all of the tissues. And again, if this is accessible for you, we're going to warm up our neck and our shoulders in the same way. So giving it a bit of a squeeze or a rub. Whatever pattern feels good for you. I sometimes like to work down from my shoulders as well. Give it a bit of a squeeze. And we're going to move on to our chest. Same thing. And onto our belly. And the side of our body. And then if you can reach the back of your body, so just above your pelvis and your lower back, maybe you'll see your middle back. You want to just make it nice and warm. And we're going to work down the legs as well. So the inner thighs, the top of the thighs, the outer thighs. And I'm pushing into my feet here so I still feel nice and supported as I make my way down. So the knees, the backs of the knees. And I'm going to work towards my toes. If your toes are not accessible for you today, that's absolutely fine. Just stop where you feel you need to. And coming up this time, we're going to do very gentle pats all over. So again, you can be as hard or as soft as you want to be, working in a similar way. So across the chest, shoulders, belly, back of the body, thighs, and again, working down just as far as you feel comfortable, pushing into those feet and using that leg strength. Next, we're going to do some brushes. So I'm starting from the shoulders down to the fingertips. So we're really paying attention to that sensation. And we can do the same from the hips to the knees. So again, as if we're brushing that tension away. And if you want to go down to your toes, you can. So just making sure that you're 
leaning forward and coming up nice and steadily. And if we want to, we can go from the face all the way down. Again, stopping where you feel is necessary for you. So a few times just to feel that sense of connectivity through the body. Lovely. Okay, final thing. We're going to get our, what I call, sparkly fingers going. So I'm waggling my fingers. And again, we're going to give ourselves a little bit of a facial. So just tapping. You can maybe tap with the whole hand or individual fingers. Around the neck, the jaw, the scalp the ears and again we can do little taps up and down one arm and down the body working in the same way following the pattern that feels good for you so again it's all about sensation and just starting to warm up the body being careful as you lean forward using your core and your leg strength coming up nice and slowly Okay, we're going to move on to mobilising our shoulders. So we want to be gentle here. I'm just going to draw circles backwards with my shoulders. So I'm trying to keep my lower body fairly still and stable. Just mobilising these joints. And I'm going to reverse this. So I'm drawing circles from the back to the front. Lovely. We're going to do a few more of these. So really going into the uh, crevices of the shoulders. We're gonna squeeze our shoulders up and drop them. And squeeze, and drop, and squeeze, and drop, and once more, squeeze, and drop. And we're gonna shrug our shoulders up and down. And we're gonna try and increase the speed. So again, be gentle if you need to be. Make sure you're keeping breathing. Okay, we're gonna try one shoulder at a time, slowing the pace slightly. So I'm dropping one shoulder down, lifting one up towards the ear. And we're gonna speed it up. So the rest of the arm is quite floppy and relaxed. Okay, we're gonna do little rolls backwards, one at a time. So you might start to feel a bit of involvement from your spine and your wrist, we're gonna reverse it now. Okay, next thing, we're going to put our hands on our shoulders if we can reach. And we're going to draw circles with our elbows. Again, you don't need to go super hard immediately, so just draw small circles to begin with. And we're going to reverse this, so we're going to draw the circles the opposite way. Fabulous. Okay, this time we're going to think about our head and our neck, so we're going to look to one side. Feeling a bit of a stretch here and changing direction. So looking towards the other side again, same stretch. And once again, a bit faster. So side, middle, side, middle, side, middle, side. And again, a few more of these. Getting the neck properly warm and mobilized. This time we're gonna look down, but a bit more slowly. So I'm tucking my chin into my chest. And I'm going to look up to the ceiling, stretching down the front of the throat, dropping my head into my chest again. And looking up to the ceiling. We're going to try this a little bit faster, down and up. So again, you don't have to go too high or too low. This time we're going to drop one ear to our shoulder. And then we're going to change to the opposite direction. So this can be quite a difficult stretch, so just take it at your own pace. Again, swapping sides. And this side. So for this exercise, we're going to need our shakers. Or as I say, if you don't want to use shakers or you haven't got any available, you can just use your fists. Um, we're going to carry on with a little bit of mobilisation, a bit of warming up as well, and then we'll get going with the shakers. So again, just remembering to keep ourselves sturdy in the centre of our chair, feet planted, hips, knees and toes pointing forwards. OK, so, so we're going to move on to using our shakers now. We're going to continue with a bit of mobilisation, but this time we're focusing on the arms, shoulders and wrists. If you don't want to use the shakers, as I say, you can just keep your um, fists clenched. That's absolutely fine. 
Okay, feet planted. We really want to use the weight in those feet to keep us stable. So just to start with, we're going to draw little circles with our wrists round one way. And reversing it. Fabulous. And we're just going to shake up our wrists nice and gently. Okay, I'm going to make this a bit more of a pattern. So shaking up and down, keeping the body strong and faster, double speed. Fabulous. We're going to lean forward and then bend our arms. So we're straightening and bending. And I'm really using my core here and pushing into my legs to help keep me stable. Fabulous. Okay, I'm going to lift the arms up and then bring them down. Same way. And I'm lifting my gaze, so if you also want to do that, you can. So straightening and bending. Extending through the arm. And the same thing out to the side, so straightening and bending. Straightening. If you want to move your head from side to side, you can. So keeping a steady pace to begin with. Practicing those extensions. We're going to do punches forward. Still at this speed, we're getting a bit of a twist in the upper body, keeping those arms strong and faster. So we're really having to concentrate to keep ourselves stable. Okay, we're going to shake as much as we can. And we're going to shake round in a circle, so up to the ceiling and all the way around one way. And when we get back to the middle, we're going to go round the other way. Lovely. This time we're going to shake to the side. We're going to shake forward and round to the other side. And reversing it. And coming back to the middle, leaning forward slightly. Okay, get a bit more of a pattern. Out, out, in, in. And again, out, out, in. Faster. Out, out, in, in. This time we're going to start using the other arm. So out, out. This is probably a bit of a strange way of doing it. Might feel a bit funny. We're going to try it faster. It probably isn't your dominant hand, but you're doing great. Okay, back to shaking. We're going to shake from side to side. So getting a slight twist in the body, keeping those arms moving. And shake in to finish. Lovely. Okay, we're moving on to our feet. So I'm just going to tap my toes to start with. And again, I'm keeping my body engaged. I've got my hands on my thighs, so you can have them on the sides of your chair. And this time I'm going to lift and drop my heels. So I might feel this in my ankles and my calves. This time I'm going to do my toes and my heels and my toes and my heels. And faster, same thing, toes, so heels. So we're rocking through those feet. Lovely. This time I'm just going to lift up one heel at a time so I can feel the work I'm doing in that lower leg. Okay, I'm going to swap from one foot to the other. I can pedal in while I sound faster. Okay, I'm going to take this into a bit of a march, but just off the floor and I'm squeezing my toes, so I'm pointing down to the floor. So using the whole foot here. Okay, this time we're going to push into the floor, so like I'm squashing something. So maybe use a bit of force in your hands, squashing something downwards. So using that weight, using some resistance. Okay, this time I'm going to stretch one leg and bring it in, then the other leg and in. So trying to keep that leg extended, maybe lifting up the upper body as well. This time the same thing, but I'm going to drop the heel, so I'm going to be flexing the foot. Lovely, so I might feel a bit of a stretch. Brilliant. Okay, this time one leg we go point, flex, 
point and chain down the foot, point, flex, point and chain, point, flex, point and chain, point. We're going to try it faster, so it will be point, flex, point, point, flex, point, point, flex, point, point, flex, point. And we've come to the end of that one, so we're going to move on, we're going to work our arms and upper body again. So to start with, we're going to take a bit of a sway from side to side. So my arms are engaged, but quite relaxed as well. You can make this what you want to. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. Enjoying the music. And I'm going to start to move it, so I'm getting a twist in the spine. And up and down, almost like I'm washing a big window. And let's go up and down one more time. Lovely. Okay, I'm going to play the piano from one side to the other and the other way. So again, I'm leaning my body forwards, engaging my core, keeping those fingers moving. Brilliant. Okay, this time you're going to sweep forward. So leaning forward, nice and steady, using the strength of the body, and we're going to sparkle those fingers down. And again, sweeping the arms forward, slight fold in the body, stretching upwards, sparkling down. Okay, again, but a bit faster, sweep. And up this time, we're just going to drop. Sweep, and up, and drop. So we're stretching and then relaxing. Stretch, and drop. And stretch, and drop. Okay, pushes forward, push, push, push. And we're going to make this a slight twist, so I'm pushing on a bit of a diagonal. So really pushing something away, your body can get involved here. This time I'm going to grab something and put it towards me. So I'm having to engage my feet as well to keep me balanced and supported, but pulling something in, using some resistance. Lovely and breathing. Fabulous. Okay, we're gonna do a little bit more with our legs. Okay, so again, making sure we're nice and stable on our chairs. We're gonna start with a slow little march like we did earlier. So lifting up one foot just off the floor. And we're gonna get our arms involved. We're gonna take it slightly faster. And we're really gonna get into it like we're marching. So engaging our core muscles. You don't have to lift the legs very high. Engaging the arms as well. If you feel like it, we're gonna try a bit of a jog. So we're speeding up the legs and slowing it down. Have a bit of a breather. We're gonna try that again. So a bit faster if you feel like it. And slowing it down. One last time. Fast. A little bit longer. Fabulous. And slowing it down. I'm going to step forward and forward and back. So I'm perching on the heels and then putting the whole of my feet down. So I'm extending through the feet and the legs. And we're going to try it with the opposite leg starting. So again, challenging our coordination here. Fabulous. We're going to do a similar thing out to the side. So we're just opening the hips slightly. Doesn't have to be super wide. Fabulous. So just getting a slight opening. And we're going to start with the opposite leg, so switching directions. Open, open, close, close. Fabulous. No, it feels a bit ungainly, but it's good for the hip. Okay, we're going to sweep one foot forward and bring it in. So I'm just sweeping it across the surface of the floor, bending the knee slightly and bringing it in. This can be very small or you can make it a bit bigger. And I'm going to do the opposite this time. I'm going to flip. So I'm not making contact with the floor when I'm pushing my foot forward. So I'm making little flips like I've got something on the end of my toe that I don't want to be there. And we're going to do our scoops again. Scoops. Scoop. Scoop. And flicks. 
Lovely. Okay, we're gonna do a little step and tap. So just getting those feet moving. Okay, we're gonna see if we can do little pony gallops here. So I'm dropping one foot and the other. It's like a little baby jump. See if we can start with the other foot. Harder one way. Let's be ambidextrous. Okay, we're gonna do some little circles with the ankles. Round one way and the other. And one way and the other. We're just gonna shake out one ankle, one leg. And the other one. Lovely. Okay, we're gonna take some breaths in. So we're stretching up the arms, but just gently bringing them down. And again, stretch. Maybe looking up as you do so, then bringing your gaze down. So up, bending the arms. This time I'm gonna cross the arms. I'm gonna see if I can give myself a hug. I'm just gonna curl over. Then I'm gonna straighten up my body. Open my arms out, keep them here, so I'm just stretching in a T-shape and bringing them down. So same thing, they go over my head, cross over, give myself a hug, tuck my chin into my chest. Slowly coming up, opening the arms, holding that T-shape. This time we're going to curve our body in like we're holding a beach ball. So we're going to go out into our T-shape, hug a beach ball. Out, hug a beach ball. From here, we're gonna lift and fold. So lift and fold and lift and fold. Fabulous. I'm gonna keep one arm stretched. I'm gonna see if I can pull it across my chest. If it's diagonal, that's fine. If it doesn't come all the way. And the same with the other arm. So I'm just going to stretch it out one way and bring it across my body. Wonderful, giving you a bit of a stretch here. Brilliant, amazing work everybody.